channel i'm qb um this is my first ever youtube video like i'm so so excited this channel is going to include a lot of things from makeup to hair to fashion hauls um maybe vlogs but i don't really know like i'm not really like a vlog person but we'll see you know it, dep it all depends on what you guys want and what you guys want to see um as you can see, like, I am a color girl. Like, I love, love, love color. Like, I love color. Like, color is life. I love wearing color. Like, you rarely, rarely ever see me wear black. Like, right now, I'm wearing black, but, like, you just never really, ever really see me wear black. Like, it's rare. Um, I just love wearing color. Color is life. Um this hair was um inspired by justine sky and so is this makeup look and so i hope you guys enjoy it thank you like comment and subscribe so first you want to start with a freshly washed face and as you can see i am moisturizing my face with my shea butter and you can moisturize your face with whatever you like as long as it works for you and so now i'm just putting some chopstick on now I'm going to take my spoolie brush and I'm going to brush my brows in an upward motion in the front and a downward motion towards the end. So this helps to keep the eyebrows in place as you fill them in into the shape that you want. So first I'm going to use my angle brush and I'm going to line the bottom of my brows and then the top. And so now I'm going to start filling them in starting from the middle i prefer not to start filling them in from the front of my brows because i like my brows to look as natural as possible <music> my LA Pro concealer um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my flat brush and clean up my brows I like to use a lighter concealer on the bottom of my brows because I really like the highlighted look that it gives it um, so I'm just gonna drag my concealer um, downwards to my lid to help blend it out and now I'm gonna use a darker shade of concealer on the top of my eyebrows because I really don't want the halo effect on my the top of my eyebrows so the darker concealer helps to um, keep the brows looking natural <music> my concealer with my finger I found that using my finger to blend out my brows is actually pretty effective it blends way better than my concealer brush and so now I am going to take my brow mascara gel and I'm going to set my brows into place this prevents your brow hairs from moving all over the place um, all day so it makes it stay intact and so now I'm going to prime my eyelids using my NYX eyeshadow primer in milk and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lid and blend it out with my finger. Now I'm taking my 252 Ultimate Palette from Coastal Scents and I'm going to go and take a warm orangey brown color to use as my transition color. I'm going to put it right underneath my brow bone. And this actually helps to um, create a fade out color for my eyeshadow look. Now I'm just using a dark purple shade from the palette and I'm going to start out from the out part outer part of my eyelid and I'm going to drag that into the crease and a little bit above my crease to create a smoky eye look. I'm also blending as I'm applying the color. Um, so now I'm going to use this lavender purple shade and I'm going to pack that into my, my lid and I'm going to blend it with the darker purple shade. <music> Now I'm going to take my smoky eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go ahead and use the black grayish shade and put that on the outer corners of my lid to create that smoky effect. 
Now I'm going to go back in with the lavender color from earlier and put some more on my lid to brighten up the eye look. And I'm going to go back in with that orangey brown transition color that we used in the beginning to help blend out the smoky eye. Now I'm going to take this white eyeliner and I'm going to apply it to my waterline. And this just helps to brighten up my eyes and makes it look bigger. And now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation in the color 360. This foundation is amazing and I just, I love it. Like it has very good coverage. I'm going to put it on my stipple brush and apply it all over my face and my forehead and blend it out for an even application. Now I'm going to use my eyeliner to make a nice wing liner on my top lash line. And I'm going to go back in with my LA Pro Concealer and I'm going to use it to highlight my face after this. Highlighting helps to bring out like the areas of your face where the light hits. And so um, it just helps to brighten up your... <laughs> so I made this thing face because I recorded this look at like 4 in the morning and my neighbors upstairs were like blasting music and making so much noise. And it caught me off guard but anyways back to blending you want to make sure you blend as much as possible so that your makeup can look very flawless yes now I'm gonna take my Ben I setting powder in the color topaz and I'm gonna apply it to the areas of my face that I put my concealer so under my eyes on my chin the side of my face um, on my forehead and the bridge of my nose <laughs> going to apply my salon perfect eyelashes but first I'm going to put on some mascara on my natural lashes um, so that the fake lashes and my eyelashes can blend together nicely and now I'm just going to apply my false lashes <laughs> And now I'm going to use my sleek contour palette to contour my face and give it some structure and I'm blending it as I'm doing that as well. And I'm going to use my soft focus powder to um, finish up my face and bring back some warmth to my face. And now I'm going back in with the purple eyeshadow that I use for my lids and I'm going to apply it on to my bottom lash line. And now I'm just putting mascara on the bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take my favorite highlighter from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. I love this highlight. Like, wow. Do y'all see that? Wow. I'm going to put this on my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to set my face with this NYX setting, um, setting spray. And now I'm going to line my lips with this brown lip liner. It kind of looks red, but whatever. Um, it's brown. I'm going to put on my NYX Butter Gloss Lip Gloss. And lastly, I'm going to put this shimmer color in the inner corners of my eyes to brighten up this look. And there you have it. My Justine Sky inspired makeup look. I love this look and I hope you guys really enjoyed it comment like subscribe and share thank you